This video introduces the Santa Rosa Subregional Biosolids Beneficial Reuse Program. A program designed to recycle all solids generated by the Laguna treatment plant during wastewater treatment. Located on 85 acres and managed by the City of Santa Rosa's Utilities Department, the Laguna Treatment Plant services a wide geographical area with over 250,000 residents and processes an average of 20 million gallons of wastewater daily. More than 99% of what is processed at our plant is wastewater and the remainder is solids. First, solids are removed from the wastewater stream through sedimentation and pumped to anaerobic digesters, which act much like our own digestive system. Then they remain under digestion for at least 15 days at temperatures exceeding 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Digestion converts half of the solids to methane gas, which is used to generate one-third of the plant's electrical requirements. After digestion and further dewatering, the biosolids can now be reused as fertilizer in direct agricultural land application, receive further treatment through composting, or is disposed of in landfill. Prior to the beneficial reuse program, all of our biosolids went to landfill. This program looked at ways to reuse this valuable byproduct, the initial development of an agricultural land application program and the compost facility reduced dependency on landfill by two-thirds. By the year 2000, landfill was reduced to 20 percent. With the optimization of the composting project, additional winter storage, and more efficient equipment, landfill usage has now decreased to 5% or less. Agricultural land application is a nationally recognized solution for diverting biosolids from landfills while also recycling the nutrients they contain. Throughout the county, over 700 acres of farmland use biosolids for feed and fiber crop production annually. Biosolids supply nutrients and organic matter, which improves soil structure and water holding capability for increased crop yield. Prior to application, all federal, state, and local regulatory requirements are met. Trucked to each farm, the material is spread and incorporated into the soil. I'm Craig Jacobson. Jacobson Ranches started applying biosolids in 1993. We are impressed with the production and diversification biosolids has given our ranch. Land spreading of biosolids, in my opinion, is a triple win combination. Added yields for the farm, reduced costs for the city, and a reduction of material going to our landfills. The agricultural land application of biosolids has had well-documented success since its inception throughout the United States and continues to be our most cost-effective method of biosolids reuse. Another method of recycling biosolids is composting. At the Laguna Subregional Compost Facility, biosolids are mixed with bulking agents and turned into rich, marketable compost. This in-vessel forced air agitated bed system began operation in 1996 and remains dependable, economical, and environmentally sound. With 12 bins in full operation, up to 150 cubic yards of reusable compost can be produced daily. The process is clean, efficient, and meets or exceeds all standards set by public health and environmental agencies. The main bulking agent is green waste, or yard debris, which comes from Sonoma County's curbside collection program. A feedstock is formulated by mixing the green waste with our biosolids. Depending on the time of year, this mixture can also contain wood chips, sawdust, grape pomace, leaves from fall street sweepings, and recycled Christmas trees. Originally, the material was uploaded from the mixing truck to the front of a compost bin inside the facility. A stationary mixer used with a loader now optimizes the process. The pile is turned each day by an agitator. Starting at the rear of the bin, each pile is aerated, moved back 14 feet, and restacked behind the machine. When agitation is complete, the machine returns and moves on cross rails to the next bin. 
Working from bin to bin, two agitators can process the entire facility in an eight-hour day. The compost is moved down the bin through five temperature control zones. The mixture is allowed to build heat or is cooled with mechanical blowers to maintain the desired temperature range. Temperatures are measured by sensors in the bin walls and are monitored by computer. Regulatory health and safety standards require a minimum temperature of 104 degrees Fahrenheit for 14 days, of which three consecutive days must be at least 131 degrees. Moisture content lost through these elevated temperatures is replaced by adding recycled water through a misting system. Operators monitor these temperatures daily. Air can be moved through the facility at up to 152,000 cubic feet per minute, or 12 total air changes per hour, ensuring that both the working environment and the surrounding air quality are not impacted. Air is drawn in through vents near the ceiling and pumped up through the active compost to supply oxygen for microorganisms and provide a means of temperature control. Odorous air is extracted from the building through a series of ducts above the compost bins and pumped by high volume blowers to a biofilter adjoining the facility. The biofilter is an innovative, environmentally friendly, biological air treatment system that replaces conventional chemical air scrubbing units. The air is introduced into the biofilter through perforated pipes at the bottom of the bed. As it travels upward, it is evenly distributed through a layer of gravel and then progresses through a three-foot layer of a variety of media. Living organisms in the media consume ammonia and other odorous compounds, scrubbing and polishing the air by the time it reaches the surface in less than three minutes. The active composting process is completed after 21 days. A walking floor discharges the clean, dry, odor-free compost to a conveyor. The compost is then screened to three-eighths of an inch. The screener separates the material into finished compost, oversized material which is returned to the process as a bulking agent, and impurities such as plastic bags. The screened compost is cured for 30 days as biological activity slows. It is then sampled and analyzed to confirm all regulatory requirements have been met. In 2009, we became one of five facilities in California to be certified by the National Biosolids Partnership. Our compost can be used in parks, schoolyards, golf courses, gardens, and vineyards. Current production is approximately 13,000 cubic yards of compost each year, almost all of which is sold in the bulk market. Since 1996, over 200,000 cubic yards has been produced. Good morning, my name is David Capucci with iRock Landscape Materials. I'm standing here at the City of Santa Rosa's compost facility on Lana Road. I'm here to pick up a load of compost. I find it to be a very consistent and fertile material to blend into my soil products. I find it to be an organic product and environmentally sound for my customers. The City of Santa Rosa is always looking for creative ways to maximize water reuse in an environmentally safe manner. Closing the Loop, the Biosolids Beneficial Reuse Program has the same goals, dynamic, continuous improvement, and 100% responsible, environmentally sensitive, and economical reuse. Through cogeneration of electricity, agricultural land application, composting, and continued conservation of landfill space, we continue our long-term commitment to our community.